the last time I did a long video on this was before I did all the work to it on this fishing pontoon. We got the camo new bimini top, new carpet, new camo paint, new seats, and it's ready to go. I used the Red Lake stencils for the camo. Everything that I used, I'll put affiliate links down below in the description. This right here is the live well, which also doubles for towels. I got some bait over there. I'm about to go catfishing. And then the console here, this is gonna get covered up with the backrest. You got your fishing rod holders. You got your Bluetooth stereo. I use my big cooler, house all the drinks, plenty of ice. It also doubles as like a workstation when you're fishing. This is the Millennium Marine Captain's Chair. This thing is awesome. So comfortable, so comfortable. This is a toolbox that I got off a good buddy, painted it up. This holds a whole bunch of life jackets, ropes, all kinds of stuff here. This is another toolbox that I got off another good buddy. And this is my battery storage area. Two batteries for the 24 volt, 60 pound thrust trolling motor. One battery for the crank. And then I got a battery under here for the radio and fish finders. I have the Minn Kota Digital MK210D. It charges two batteries at once. This is the Hummingbird Piranha Max 4DI. This will get upgraded eventually. We got this camo bimini top. You can get those on Amazon, I'll leave a link. Really nice. And the beauty of this thing is it has its own built-in zippered cover. So once you fold it up, run the flap around, close it up and it'll zips up all nice and neat out of the way and of course i had to get the motor in this back area to match the gas tank and everything on the back there i have a 40 horse evan rude this is my fish cutting board table i got from betterboats.com back here i have four fishing rod holders this is the trash can lids busted but it works i put a hole in the lid right there so you put stuff in but nothing can blow out the wind now this is the motor guide 60 pound thrust. I mounted the foot pedal right there so you just sit on a chair and drive. Before I had a 45 pound with a remote, but it just, it wasn't enough juice. I still need to figure out storage, but this is the anchor I got from betterboats.com. It's a box anchor and this thing will hold this boat even in the river current. Over here, I have 35 pound pontoon winch. It's electric and all you gotta do is just press the button Anchor goes down, press the button, anchor goes up. It's really solid. So this boat turned out a lot better than I first imagined. The reason why I went with this carpet is because this wood is still solid, but I'd say it's probably got about three more years left on it. When I go to strip that all the way down to put new wood on it, then I'll probably do the EVA foam or maybe uh, spring a little bit more money and get some of that woven fabric. And of course you gotta represent with the American flag this was from betterboats.com i have some rod holders on the front on both sides so it's ready for fishing that and i left this boat as an open concept that way you can remove the seats you can remove the cooler you can remove that box this box is secured down due to the fact that it has batteries electrical wires and this actually doubles as a bench seat the kids love sitting on this thing man that's a big fish down there wonder what that is Got that good stuff, the stink bait, the triple S, or what they used to call a sunny super sticky. I'm so happy with how this boat turns out. It turns heads on the road, on the highway, and on the water. Not every day do you see a camo pontoon boat rolling around. Now I'm not fully done with it. I am gonna do some different mods, add-ons, and I'll update you guys on that. But for the most part, she's ready to roll. She's ready to rock. All right, I think I'm gonna go beach this and go for a swim. Thanks for watching guys, Beards and Bows out.